All right, guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today, we're taking a look at more of these new Japanese battleships because we still haven't got through them. This is the tier eight now. Uh, I feel like I've started to understand how to play them, actually. The more I've played them, it's taken a while, but I do feel like I'm figuring these things out uh, slowly, though. Um, it really comes down to the high explosive being so good, especially on the tier nine and tier 10. There will be another Bungo video, as I've played it quite a bit now, and I've actually been doing quite well in it. Unfortunately, we don't have the stats from when I first started playing it, but since the patch has dropped, uh, I've played 11 games here and I'm averaging 181. <laughs> so, the damage is there. Uh, the most per battle, though, is still only 211, so it's not like I've had these insane games, but reasonably consistent, thanks to the high explosive. So we'll see if that remains true for this tier eight, since we do only get 410 millimeter guns here, not the 457s. Uh, we still get a pretty nice reload, 27 seconds here, feels pretty good. Uh, 6,500 alpha on the HE is pretty high. Uh, and again, the AP has pretty low alpha for its caliber. So probably gonna be pretty similar. Uh, the build here looks like this. And I've also swapped out the commander slightly. Uh, no longer taking basic survivability. Instead, going brisk. Uh, seems pretty obvious in hindsight. Not sure why I wasn't taking it. Um, really good concealment. The ship's pretty quick already. Uh, well, actually, no, they're not. This one's not very quick. <laughs> um, maybe it's the acceleration has felt pretty good. I'm not sure. But brisk is pretty good here, considering uh, we have great concealment already. And then the last point, I actually didn't know what to do with. But I do think gun feeder is very important. Uh, as is Grease the Gears, since the turrets tend to turn pretty slowly. This one's a little better, since it's not those 457s. Armor-wise, as we can see, yep, it's uh, not looking so good. <laughs> Let's see what the Citadel is, and wow, actually, it's got a little slope here. Um, that's very interesting. Did the other ones have that? Oh, they did. I actually did not notice that. Bungo? No, Bungo doesn't. Okay. Yeah, but the Tier 9 actually had a little slope there, too. It's a little harder to hit. Uh, so you do want to aim under the front turrets, I guess, if you are uh, going to be shooting at these things. Uh, but that's about it for the tier eight. It's pretty similar to the rest of the line. And when we get into this game, let me tell you a little bit about how I think these things need to be played. So what I've really discovered is you just have to be shooting HE a lot. And a bit of a rule I've sort of come up with, at least for the 457 millimeter variety, anything outside of 15 kilometers, battleship specifically, even if they go broadside, just shoot HE. It's just not worth it to shoot the armor piercing. The shells just aren't gonna do enough damage. And I found that at those ranges, whatever it is, pen, crop, I don't know, some hidden values, they just aren't even doing that much damage into angled ships like superstructures. Oftentimes you'll see me just spamming AP at things because, well, we got enough pen and superstructures are pretty big, so we're gonna do some pretty decent damage there anyway. Um, but whatever reason, with these things, I just haven't been feeling that. So spamming the HE guarantees a lot of damage, uh, assuming we hit there. Uh, and I found it to be a lot better. Obviously, the damage output is there with the Bungo. Less satisfying for me personally. Uh, actually, I'm going to swap here. We might get a Siegfried turning out. A lot of cruisers in this one. And then inside 15 kilometers, you can think about it for battleships, but really cruisers. Uh, cruisers, you do want to be shooting AP into their broadsides. And typically you're gonna have overmatch as well. But it is gonna be a lot of HE still. And I found that to work pretty well. Uh, it still can be pretty disappointing at times. Okay, looks like our Z is not gonna do so hot. But look at this, Siegfried gonna be turning out here. We'll pop our plane. This is kind of what we're looking for here. Aim a little high, since the aiming system tends to put shells low. There you go. Patience paid off in that case, and I'm actually gonna swap to the HE because I'm gonna drift behind this island. We're not gonna get another shot, and we're gonna look for this Massachusetts. It is a lot to keep track of, more so, I think, to get the most out of these ships. You do need to be swapping to that HE. He goes dark. Um, we're still gonna take that shot, actually. At least rear guns. And then maybe we'll go back to the AP uh, for a shot over this island here. Uh, we're a little too broadside here. Not sure what we're spotted by. Okay, we're good. We do want to be using stealth quite a lot here. 
Siegfried is too angled. Ah, here's a cruiser. Mm. Okay. Oh, he's, he actually shot? What? Flame high again. It's gonna turn out. Ah, bounces. Too bad. But you get the idea, I think. That's that's gonna be what you're wanting to look for a lot of the time. There are overmatch opportunities, certainly. Uh, into this Siegfried here, I think. Yeah, we definitely overmatch him. Might look into this Aditara here. Tier 9 version. Actually, Siegfried, you can go broadside? Again? I mean, kind of towards the bow. And we do get him. Nice. And back to the HE. For now. Uh, let's see. Neustra. Akazuki. Oops, sorry, Wichita. Um, do I want to turn in here? I kind of do, actually, guys. This might be a bad play. But I kind of want to turn in. Our Turpitz is pretty healthy. And uh, let's start up with the HE, shall we? Massachusetts here. Maybe should have waited a second longer to get our full turn in. Very broadside to this battleship over here. Okay. Missed out on some damage there. The alpha damage is lower. The fire chance is not there. Okay. I think we get this turn in before that smashes us. Maybe not. Maybe we just got lucky. But even here, Massachusetts 14.4. I'm actually not interested in shooting AP really at that. It's so awkward and weird compared to the way the game seems to teach you how to play battleships. Um, maybe I'm too focused on it. Okay, we get a fire. But especially as you get into the higher tiers, this HE isn't feeling quite as powerful uh, for some reason, but actually our Turpitz is about to go down here. Massachusetts rep. Interesting. Uh, I'm actually going to turn my guns here because our Turpitz is about to go down. I'm about to be the focus target here. Yeah, pretty low damage there from the HE. I'm actually going to just wait for a second. See if we go dark. I don't really want to turn in front of this Editara. We'll see. Nice. Okay. We go dark. And now we turn and run. But well, that's kind of the idea. It's been working reasonably well with the tier 10, especially the Bungo. We played, played that like all day yesterday for another three hours. And as you saw, the average damage is there. It's pretty okay. So this line is not as bad as I thought. It's just, uh, I don't like this, but, you know, the whole, oh, just adapt, buddy. But in this case, it seems to be the case. That's true. Uh, there was a play style to adapt to. Um, and we're kind of doing that. Guy's angled. Guy's going to turn out. And unfortunately, actually, our shell velocity is good enough. We don't... We can't get over that? Wow, that's sad. He's so broadside, though. Come on, Gabe. No, we don't get there. All right. Well, Massachusetts here. Maybe worth. No. Okay. Well, I have AP right now, and this is actually a decent opportunity. So, 16 kilometer shot. We'll send it. And we do have. We definitely have to be running here. But let's see what we get on this guy. I have two hits only. Not a great example, because you couldn't see it, but I have found the AP to be pretty anemic on the higher tier ones. And that last spotter plane was a bit of a waste, certainly, but I have found that a lot of the time I'm actually ending games with a lot of spotter planes left. So an improvement to be made certainly will be using these spotter planes a little bit more often. It's a lot like the reload booster on some of these French ships where you definitely want to be using those things to get a lot of damage output in the game. And you can fall into a bit of a trap like, oh, I want to save it, I want to save it, I want to save it, but... I'm going to turn it in. Try there. Actually, I only got my back guns, wow. Easter shimmy. Okay. We should get away. We might be able to get away here. We'll see. 
probably get lit on fire here pretty quick, unfortunately. The armor is not a strong point of these things, that's for sure. And this tier 8 has pretty low HP as well. Wow, even at that angle. Uh, did these new street torps make it, actually? Well, let's try one salvo, and then we're gonna die. Not a good game. But, pretty decent last salvo there. I'll take that. So that's kind of the concept. This one was a bit of a blowout, unfortunately. Okay, game number two. We do get ourselves to a pretty favorable tier 8 match. And it's possible the tier 8 is just much worse. Uh, that the tier 10 is the strong part of the line. But this has been working in the bungo reasonably well for me. Wow, a full pin for 650? How? That... Okay, I will say the HE has felt pretty bad on this thing in comparison, which is odd because the alpha is not actually that much worse. Oh my goodness, double sub over here. Terrifying. Maybe some splashes onto them. Yeah. Wow, such low damage on the HE. Although maybe that's just a sub saturation thing. Kind of sad. But we do get a bit of damage in onto them. That helps. This guy's gonna turn in. I'll take this shot and then I'm actually gonna swap to the AP. It's possible he uh, feels like he has to turn out or something. I don't know. Try there. Really? Turret. That's unfortunate. Now, does he turn in? He does. Too bad. Okay, we got one of the subs. That's, that's good. Wait. Patience. Patience. Okay, here's the turnout. We don't have all our guns. I'll even aim a little high. Patience. Here we go. Five over pens. Ah, uh, game. Why can't you be consistent? If you're gonna do the shells drop short thing all the time, do it all the time. Not just, uh, don't stop doing it the instant I try and compensate for that. Unfortunate. Um, but we do have an enemy Kansas pushing up here to deal with. Kind of scary. Actually gonna, I think just do a turn out here. This might just end in our death here, getting dev struck, but I think we should be okay. He's very broadside. Let's see what the AP can do here. And then we'll swap back to the uh, high explosive. Oh, yeah, angles in time. All right. Five bounces, that's to be expected um, at that angle, I do think. But the AP performance, any sort of like minor off angle, it doesn't feel like it ha It's almost if you took, you know, the improved pen angles you get on like a Petro. They're not like massively improved over normal AP, but they feel better. Um, it's almost if you took that in the reverse and made the pen angles slightly worse. I know that that's not how it works on paper, um, how this, how the ship is, but that's kind of what it feels like. Whatever is done to these AP shells, they need Flat broadsides at closer ranges. Otherwise, just be shooting HE out of this. Maybe not the tier 8, though. Oh boy, our team is kind of losing people here. Here we go. On 17k. 15. Do we kill him? No. Wow. Yeah, it's stuff like that, you know? I think that's okay damage, but... I mean, it's not good either. Right. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the armor piercing for now. Look for this uh, cruiser here. Might turn this way. Good, uh, good dispersion there. And again, pre overpens. All right, we have only overpen this guy. You might know some things, and then we miss. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot of issues with this line, guys. Don't you worry. Not like you 
start shooting HE more and planning your shots around uh, different ranges and suddenly it gets better. Uh, okay, well, we'll miss that one too. Okay, nice, he's down. Let's try and deal with a broadside hipper here. Maybe this Byron, we'll see. We do have overmatch on this guy. All right, like that's something else we can take advantage of, right? Uh, okay, I probably need to turn out actually. Two hits only, that's playing up two hits. Unfortunate. Uh, if I was to shoot this Byron, I probably would be using HE. That's what I'd swap to right now. But I am keeping my eye out for this uh, bruiser here to see what he does. Again, we should have some overmatch. Iron's on us. That's okay. Yeah, a bit overmatch. There you go. Iron being broadside is pretty tempting. Yeah, the cruiser does go. Oh, wow, they killed the NC over there. Well done, guys. Okay, he's a little angled. But we aim high enough that that should hit upper belt superstructure. And we do 15, okay. Maybe the tier eight, you do shoot more AP. Hmm, weird. They are different caliber guns, right? Like the tier nine gets the bungo guns, I think. At least the calibers are the same. Ouch. Turrets are pretty vulnerable in this one in particular. Uh, I do have the spotter plane upgrade thing to keep it alive longer, but I didn't get my turrets. Wow, that is awful dispersion. Um, <laughs> it's just painful. Uh, okay, I didn't. I didn't buy my turrets breaking this much on the higher tier ones. So maybe a tier eight thing. Keep in mind with these tier eights, also tier eight and nine only have ten percent buff to accuracy. So it's not as dramatic as the tier ten one is. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Like, how are you at tier eight? Okay, thank you, game. Okay, okay, thank you, game. <laughs> I was, we we were gonna have some questions. We were gonna have some questions if if we didn't get damage there. Okay, we did it though. Close game, standard battle, man. That is interesting. Very interesting. This cruise is gonna walk around this island. Be kind of interesting if he did. Otherwise, we should just go after these battleships here. All right, battleships it is. Swap over to the HE. It's not improved, but this gun feeder expert loader thing is pretty important. Appears to be turning out a bit. That's not good for us. <laughs> Detonation, huh? Uh, we got a fire, but unfortunately the damage wasn't quite there. Try again, maybe. Put the plane up. Looks like our mass is on HE as well. We will want that for the... Okay, there we go. We kill him. We do want that for the Richelieu. Okay, we saw some AP come in from over here. I think the cruiser's still there. We might have to worry about the Icarus coming in for us. Okay, we'll get some HE off there. Nice. Okay, the cruiser's kiting. I think I actually saw... The NC just get clapped down, like, that annihilated him. Submarine, perhaps? Yeah, look at that. Wow. You do have to lead the HE way more. Uh, something that you will have to worry about a bit. I'm actually going to stop here just for a second. I don't want to follow my Massachusetts exactly the way he's going. 
Um, just because, okay, Icarus is there. Never mind, we're good. I was worried about Icarus being here. Um, and then he gets like a, a, a Torp Salvo into both of us for free. <laughs> NC's probably dead uh, to the submarine. Probably help on Richelieu here now. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, damage is lower on this HE for sure. And then at the same time, we have seemingly just less damage. Ah, the damage is just so much worse on this HE. It might not be as good to just spam it all the time. Uh, I'll definitely be... Yeah, 650 again. Wow. I'll definitely give you guys another Bungo video now that I've had some pretty good games into it. Uh, if you're still interested in that. It has been a lot of these things. I've <laughs> been on a bit of a roller coaster where they were awful and terrible, and now they're kind of just okay. Uh, I don't know if I've said this on videos or not. Definitely on stream I've said this a bunch. But I think my expectations were just, like, astronomical for this line, just because, I mean, you see it on paper, right? It's It's... It's like best, I mean, let's talk about Bongo specifically. 2.2 Sigma, best Sigma out of any battleship in the entire game. You get a spotter plane that gives you three to four salvos. Wow, this guy is just owning with these torps. Uh, three to four salvos of 20% better dispersion. Yamato ledge mod was nerfed from 11 or 14 down to 7 because it was too good. Satsuma's funny button requires 3 to 4 volleys to charge and it gives you 35% for one salvo. This is 20% for three salvos and it's just a consumable. You just get it. Wow, that is disappointing too. Um, <laughs> 457s at tier 10. Like, the... It's, it's the caliber to crush things at tier 10. Um, concealment, 12 kilometers. Reload, like 26. Uh, I'm not sure if I get that in time. We'll see. No, didn't. Um, but, right, you, like you hear those things, you see those things on a piece of paper of a new line coming up and you think, wow, wow. This is going to be OP, right? And maybe that's just skewed things because this line is just kind of mediocre. It's not bad. It's not Columbo. It's not GK. Um, you know, it's just... It's just not what those stats on paper would, would make me believe, I guess, is the idea. And maybe Wargaming said they want, like, internally, maybe their design philosophy for this thing or these lines was... We're going to make a stealthy flanking battleship line that has the potential to be very accurate at times. And we're going to make sure it's not good at longer ranges. So we're going to nerf the AP shells and we're going at longer ranges specifically. And we're going to um, give it some good HE, but give it really bad shell velocity on that HE. It's again going to be you know, make things difficult to be at these longer ranges. Maybe that's the idea? I don't know. It's very weird to me that I'm so just mid on these on this these ships. Um, but they're not they're not just like dumpster fires like Columbo is GK these things. Um, where they're just really bad, not worth playing. There is something here still. Alrighty. Nice. Massachusetts gets us. 127, three kills, you know. That's a pretty good game for a tier 8. Especially one that I haven't really had any experience in, you know. Um, so it's okay. But yeah, I, I think the rules... Uh, rules sound so silly for, for a PvP game that has just so many different possibilities uh, every time you play it. But if there can be a set of rules for these ships, I do think it is... Maybe for tier 8 it's a little closer range even yet. Or maybe it's different, because the HE felt so bad on this thing. Okay, yeah, let's get the notifications. The HE felt not good. I don't know why. Um, yeah, 30% fire chance. 
But the alpha is still there. Like, what's a what's an Amagi HE shell? Oh, it's still high too. Okay, I don't know. Wait, what is seventy? You want to have seventy three hundred HE alpha? Why are people okay? The reason I'm so like, wow, the HE alpha is so high is because everyone in Twitch chat when I was playing these things and just raging at how bad the AP was. You gotta spam the HE. The HE alpha is so busted. It's the same HE alpha as Yamato? I mean, it does feel really good. Um, uh, yeah, like, I think I did 20, 20k? I think that was the most with the HE and the Bungo uh, to a carrier here. It can, it can hit pretty hard. Um, the tier 8 HE is not as good. But if we go to the higher tier ones, maybe this one as well. If you play it more, you'll find that. Um, outside 15 kilometers, just shoot HE at battle. If it's a battleship, just shoot HE. If it's a cruiser, maybe AP is worth it. Uh, if you can overmatch them or their broadside. Um, at closer ranges, definitely be swapping to the AP for the broadside shots. But if it's an angled battleship, just shoot HE. And it works okay, uh, I guess. Oh, we're on the tier 9. Whoops, this is a tier 8 video. What's tier 8? This one. So that's 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 kind of the idea. Uh, it's been doing okay. Bungo's, well, not very many games, but the average damage is pretty high. The satisfaction isn't there, though. For me personally, this is very subjective, obviously, but HE, really? It feels like overmatch damage to me. HE and overmatch are so similar to me. It's so, it's the least satisfying way to get damage for me because I don't feel like, wow, I took all this time, five, 10 minutes of pre-positioning, looking at the map, figuring out the best way to catch someone's broadside. And then the reward at the end is that dev strike or something like that, right? Um, the HE and overmatch just feels like, yeah, I'm just using a gimmick to get damage on you for free. And there's like nothing you could do about it, right? <laughs> because the that game just says, my caliber is big enough that I overmatch and your armor does nothing. And HE says, you're not angling to this because it's high explosive. Um, yeah, so so that's where I say it's just not as satisfying. And maybe that's where I say they're not very good, um, at least at the beginning, because I am looking for those broadside hits, man. That's That's why I play battleships and that's what I enjoy from them. And if I can't consistently get those broadside hits when I do get those positions that I outplay people, then I call a ship bad. Um, because that's what I'm looking for out of these particular ships. Especially one, 2.2, I mean, we're on tier 10, I know this is the tier 8 video, but hear me out. Tier 10, 2.2 Sigma, 12 kilometer detect, 4, 10 457s, spotter plane that gives you three to four salvos of 20% better dispersion. How are we not crushing every broadside within sight, you know? Uh, but it's not. Um, maybe that's better for game balance, that it's just not an insta-dev strike every time, but um, the expectation was there, for me at least. Maybe that is the wrong way to look at things. Uh, I've probably rambled enough about the ship that we didn't even play in this video. <laughs> I'll make another video on Mungo. I have plenty of thoughts. Uh, look forward to that if you're if you're interested. Um, but yeah, that's the tier 8. It's just alright. Um, once you get to the 457s at tier 9, you'll start to feel feel things out a little bit more. And then the Bungo being a pretty decent battleship, I think. So overall, an okay line. Uh, just not as powerful as I thought. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day.